Daily Show. Uh, tonight we have a very special guest. Um, he's one of the number one prospects. In fact, he's the number one prospect in all of Canada. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Neville Gallon. Do you mind if we ask you a few questions today? No, I do not, actually. So, first we want to ask you, when did you decide that you wanted to play football in the States? Well, basically, you know, playing in the States for me has always been a passion of mine. Uh, growing up, uh, because my family, we're a sports family, but mo mainly, you know, they played uh, basketball, so I felt that in order for me to obviously achieve my dreams and my goals in life, I felt that I needed to take my football skills and against U.S. competition, and I did just that. So that's when you can see around that time, I believe I was around the age of 14 when I realized, you know, that I, I needed to be in the States to compete. It's very young. It's when you start realizing your dreams and everything. Yeah. Did you have any other choice of prep schools besides Canada Prep? Um, prior to Canada Prep, I had a, I had a few options, but you know, like I, even in, uh, as a person, they weren't highly recruiting me, but they did consider me a uh, Schools like uh, Bishop Corbin, um, Deepak, Deepak Catholic Prep, but mainly, mainly Canada Prep. That was the main school that uh, gave me an opportunity. They showed a strong interest in me and felt that, and told me that they had a lot that they could provide for me as well and contribute. So. Okay. Um, what do you think the best thing this school has done for you? Honestly, the best thing that the school has ever done for me is. Like I said, they gave me a chance. Um, they they took a huge chance on me, you know, not having seen my, my film really, but just basically, you know, speaking with the head coach and obviously the principal here, uh, uh, Principal Fife, you know, they, they gave me an opportunity. They, um, they basically put me in the best situation possible to be successful on the field and in the classroom. So I guess the, the best thing I can honestly say about Canada Prep is that uh, they, well, they did something that most schools and looking at a, a student, they, they wouldn't do, they, they basically, they judge basically off a, a verbal conversation with me and my parents and, you know, they, they made things possible for me to be here today. Um, when did you start getting recruited and who was the first school to show interest in you? When did I, well, I didn't, in terms of U.S. schools, I didn't start to get recruited until about, until after my junior season here. 11th grade. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of interest, in terms of you know, getting letters sent to me, it was actually Mississippi State was the first school ever to show interest wow. in terms of you know sending mail. But throughout all the mails I've sent, you know, there's schools like uh, uh, Virginia Tech, Purdue, you know, responding back to me via email and stuff. But you know, in terms of email, um, Mississippi State was probably the first school to send me to email that, and that came to my house just in time for. How did you feel in the moment when you got your first offer from her? I mean, it's undescribable. It's probably one of the, the greatest feelings in the world you can ever have, especially being a Canadian kid. You know, it's not a, it's one of those things where a lot of kids dream of it. Like I said, I was just thankful and grateful that I was in one of those, being in a position to be one of those kids. I mean, uh, Maryland was the, the first school to offer me. Um, and I mean, you know, I got I to gotta give thanks to the most high because, you know, a lot, a lot of kids, like I said, dream of being in that situation, especially as a Canadian, because it's not, it's not, it's not a, on every occasion, as opposed to being in the States where you have a kid that's, you know, gaining a U.S. scholarship, so the fact that I even had one of them, you know, it was a blessing. It's rare for anybody in Canada to ever receive a U.S. offer, so you are very blessed for that. When, when you got invited to the opening, who was the first person you told? The first person I told Actually, I believe I believe it was my brother. I believe uh, I uh, I called him on the phone. I told him that I got to buy the opening. But it's funny because it was a it was a very big deal for me. But my family, you know, they were just happy because they I had to basically explain to them because, like I said, their football knowledge and you know getting invited to these top camps, they, they didn't really have as much knowledge as I did. So you know, I kind of broke it down to them. And then once they realized how big of a deal it was and the in fact, being the first Canadian ever to do this, you know, they, they are excited, mm -hmm. they're, they're just as happy as I was, but I mean, um, yeah, getting invited to there was a huge deal, I learned mm -hmm. a lot, and it was just, a, it was an experience that, you know, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, you can't relive that 
And at least not as like a high school athlete. Mm-hmm. So it was, it was a lot of fun. And what was the experience of the opening like? Oh man, like like I said, um, just from from the competition that you used to play against, <coughs> you re- it really it really it really humbles you because I mean, uh, I had an opportunity to go down there and compete against a lot of top pro- top prospects, great football players. You know, the level of coaching expectations was a lot higher, but overall it was such a fun experience because me personally, I learned a lot. You know, I was obviously put in a situation where I kind of had to gel and, you know, kind of get used to, you know, the technique because I was kind of short, short on that. But overall, you know, it just, it just gave me a reason to work that much harder. And also it was kind of like a reward for, you know, your hard work during the season because, you know, on top of having to, you know, compete every day, you know, in the trenches and do a lot of skill sessions, you know, you had your film sessions and on top of that, you know, Obviously, granted you a lot of you know gear, you know the latest yeah. stuff, but overall it was just a it humbles you, you. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna say I I showed out like I was the best player there, but I mean I learned a lot. You know mm-hmm. I competed, I, I made an impact. You know a lot of guys uh, heard learned about like heard about me, saw I performed. You know those good things. You know and I, obviously when I was there, you know I found a lot of things that I could improve on. So mm-hmm. overall it was, it was a good experience. I couldn't complain. And how did you feel when you were ranked among the top? Again, it was an honor, and you know, it just goes to show you that uh, it's a blessing. Because I mean, it, it's another rare situation because I only played four games my junior year, and on top of that, I only played my senior year. I only played two and a half games. <coughs> because both of those seasons had a short due to injury. But the fact that I was still able to show coaches as well as other you know people and prospects that were watching that you know <coughs> are very that show a lot of interest you know in, uh, in high school athletes. The fact that they were able to see that, you know, the fact that this kid is still a, a very good, very good athlete and he has a lot, to, and he can do a lot to contribute at the next level, you know, it still meant a lot. Because mm-hmm. honestly, I, even if I wasn't ranked, I still would have been happy. So the fact that I was ranked and so highly, even though I wasn't given a really opportunity to showcase, it, you know, how I am during a full season, it really meant a lot. So I'm thankful. And also just another reason to work hard because I know for a fact that if I was able to play a lot longer, well, play out the whole season. I'm pretty sure, you know, the stats will obviously be, be better. better. Yeah. And then, you know, a lot of people can do a better job of judging my abilities on the field. Oh, now, we all know that you had 27, almost 30-plus offers. So, we wanted to ask you, why did you choose Oklahoma over any of the other offers that you had? I mean, and again, it was another, honestly, I got to give thanks because the fact that we didn't truly went out in my time when I was working and, you know, working in the gym and, you know, obviously trying to improve in the classroom. <clears throat> I was really, you know, obviously grinding, so to speak, just for that one offer. So mm-hmm. the fact that not only did I get one offer, really, truly, I was I was blessed with, you know, 27, obviously nearly 30 offers. You know, I definitely made the made the decision hard, but I really chose Oklahoma because, you know, I really love all the other schools, but in terms of the comfort factor, because for me, comfort is a big deal. Mm-hmm. And comfort is a big deal to me and my family, right? Cause if you're talking about a Division One uh, program, you know, you're guaranteed to get the, the best education possible. Mm-hmm. You're guaranteed to be put in the best situation possible, you know, outside of football also. So for me, it's just Oklahoma to me, you know, there, there's a comfort level. And also, a lot of schools, even though they did have a need, I felt that Oklahoma, they did a, they could do a lot for me. You know, mm-hmm. definitely is a school that I, they made it known that I could definitely contribute. Um, the head coach showed a lot of interest in me. Matter of fact, he always he was always keeping in contact with me on the daily as well as the defensive line coach. And, you know, just for the fact that when I took my official visit there, I felt the most comfortable. You know, the environment was for me. It's a football environment, and all the people are they're very um, they're they're honest people. Mm-hmm. And I like being around people that you know that are positive. So I feel that out of all the schools, you know, I feel that I could be the most focused and definitely you know be put in the best position possible to be obviously factor on the field, a positive factor on the field as well as developing the classroom and obviously, you know, that degree. Now, we have one more question for you. We, based on the swear and based on just news in general, we all know you got invited to the US Army all game. How disappointed were you that you couldn't play in that game? Extremely. As a matter of fact, I was, I was very, I was very upset. And initially, you know, it's funny, I didn't even tell the, the lady, I just, I, they just did like the animal checkup. Mm-hmm. And I just told, I just asked the lady, you know, if it's possible, you could just kind of check out the new 
you know, I didn't really tell her that I was injured, really, until she started asking some questions. Um, and then uh, she ran some tests, and then she went, she, she went, I guess, met with the other doctors, and then she came back and told me the news, yeah, you're not going to be able to even dress this week. So, I mean, the pain, it hurts, because, you know, not only did you miss you, not only were you not, not only was I not able to finish my senior year playing football, but the time and the preparation that I put in, you know, I, I was trying to at least make myself better for the U.S. Army game. And the fact that I wasn't able to play that, it hurts because, like, again, it's not every day that you get invited to things like that. And you have an opportunity to show out in front of all of America as well as put out for your country and show out in Canada. And it's something that, you know, it was on TV, you know, something yeah. especially your family could watch for those who never got to see you play live. And it was just an opportunity to show respect and appreciation for the game. So the fact that I couldn't be out there physically mm-hmm. on the field, it was very disappointing. Um, I mean, being there for the whole week, it was fun. We got a lot of gear, but it wasn't the same because you weren't. I wasn't able to go out and play. Mm-hmm. So I felt like, to me, I'm, I'm a competitor and me, I, I, have a, I, would love, I was always like, I was looking forward to that game so much. So the fact that I wasn't able to compete, it hurt. But, you know, I mean, it's life. So I'd rather, I'm kind of happier knowing that still have my legs as opposed to playing that game and possibly getting hurt and then preventing my, my, my recovery for um, my fall, for the fall when I go up. Well, we thank you for having us on this show and we hope to we hope that you have a good year at Oklahoma. This was your daily show with Tosin and Liam. We'll see you another day. We'll see you